Hello, welcome to another video from Dr. Crypto. Today we're talking about Ardor, NXT, and Burst. And all three of these intermingle with each other, and we'll see how they break down later. The blockchain is the Ardor. Now that's the blockchain, that's where everything is. That's the main chain, that's where all the Ardor tokens are exchanged between account holders, and that's where the child chains are attached to. And because of all the different child chains, it allows the main blockchain to stay free for just Ardor token transactions to make those faster and easier. Uh, it also reduces the blockchain bloat, and Ardor is 100% proof of stake, so there's no mineable coins. The speed each block containing a child chain transaction are processed in, le in a minute or 60 seconds. Ardor will be built by Gel Ravida. That's the core NXT development team with years of proven security. So more about the child chains. These are basically the add-ons that you can do to the main blockchain of Ardor. First off, you can designate which currency the child chain will accept, and it will only accept that currency for every transaction and also part of the, all the fees that it incurs will be in that currency as well. Uh, the child chain will be pruned so that the size of the blockchain is independent to the number of child chains. Creating a child chain allows you to use the NXT blockchain technology for your group, business, or organization. Users can hold and trade assets that exist on any Ardor child chain. So that's that's awesome. Basically, you can hold all your assets, you can trade all your assets. It opens up a whole new marketplace for cryptocurrency. It's it's really amazing. Learning more and more about the Ardor and the blockchain and what it's doing is is really exciting stuff. Users can easily name things so it's based it's the name dot the name of the child chain so you know Fred junk at child chain if, if the name of the child chain is is Edwardian then you have Fred Fred junk dot Edwardian you know maybe not the easiest name to remember but you can you know it's easier than than a lot of these long drawn out addresses it's resistant Oh, you can restrict the activity on the account. So you can restrict like transactions coming and going, buying and selling. Uh, you can create more tokens in case you thought we didn't have enough already. You can totally just create your own and start using it as currency throughout the, the, the platform. You can send and receive encrypted messages. I'm just reading off their website. I kind of put together all the, all the really juicy stuff that's it's a really cool plugins can be installed and create automatic condition and unconditional transactions with deferred executions marketplace to buy and sell physical and digital items so that's what the blockchain brings NXT is actually the program that you would download to do all of this stuff and it is very in-depth I was looking at it the last couple of days and there's so much in there that I'm just like, oh my gosh, that is really awesome. They ha they cover a lot of different bases. Basically, they cover your inventory and business needs from issuing stock to purchasing inventory to reselling other inventory. It's it's really comprehensive, and I really I really had a lot of fun poking around with their demo. Uh, again, I just went to their website, and then you click on the demo button, you enter a code that they give you, and you go check out the demo. It's, it's really fun. It's, it's comparable to Aragon, uh, but Aragon seems to, or at least when I checked them out a month ago, they, they uh, specifically focused on kind of um, the, more of the token sales and the, the stocks and share splits and stuff and who gets what and how much and who has voting power and who doesn't. So, and, and with NXT, they do that, plus they add a whole other marketplace to it. So it's really exciting stuff. NXT is the downloadable program that you navigate through to do all the cool stuff that is on the Ardor blockchain. And then you have the Burst coin. Lastly, uh, it is a coin. It is a coin on steroids. It uses proof of capacity and relies on computer storage, 
rather than computing calculations. So it cuts down a ton on power. It's one of the cheaper ways to mine a coin nowadays. And there's, a, I believe, a few other coins that do that as well. Uh, or, or it was hashflare.io. Maybe they, they had something to do with it. Uh, Cross-chain transactions have been successful between the blockchain Burstcoin and Cora. So that's exciting because that means that we can do transactions across the different blockchains. So we can trade different monies for different monies and not have to go through an exchange. So, so that's, that's some cool things about Burst, the coin itself. So, but that's these three. That was Ardor, NXT, and Burst. I like all three companies. I think they're cool together. Uh, I'm surprised that they're as cheap as they are um, today. But, but anyways, give it time. So... Anyways, thanks for coming out, and we'll see you on the next one.